be here. Uh, I'm uh, Cleburne County Sheriff Chris Brown. Uh, joined with me here are uh, Concord Police Chief Willie Baker, the Concord School Superintendent Dr. Michael Davidson, and the Concord Principal Scott Willock. We are uh, here to discuss what is truly a tragedy for our small community and um, it's, a, it's, it's a heartbreaking tragedy at that that we're, uh, we're having to deal with. Uh, this, uh, this incident happened at Concord School, which is a small town located on the northeast corner of Cleburne County. It's a population of approximately 300 people, and the school is a K-12 public school that educates about 600 students on a daily basis. Um, Chief Baker is going to give you a timeline of the events that occurred, and, uh, and then uh, we'll, we'll come back and, uh, uh, and, and close after, after that. Uh, this is certainly a difficult time. Like I said, it's a tragedy for our community. It's a difficult time, and we just ask that uh, you keep the family members, the school, the faculty, and the students, and our community in your prayers. Chief. Uh, thank you, Sheriff. Uh, like you said, my name is Willie Baker. I'm the police chief at the Concord Police Department. Uh, today, on today's date, April 24, 2019, at approximately 12:40 p.m., a Concord School faculty member heard what he believed to be a gunshot in the cafeteria bathroom. When he went to check in the bathroom, he located a student in the bathroom with what appeared to be a gunshot wound to the head. The school was locked down and authorities were contacted almost immediately. Among those that responded to the scene today were the Concord Police Department, Cleaver County Sheriff's Office, the Arkansas State Police, the Arkansas Highway Police, the Independence County Sheriff's Office, the Batesville Police Department, the Concord Volunteer Fire Department, as well as Vitalink EMS. The student is a 14-year-old eighth grader, was pronounced dead at the scene. It is believed at this time that this was an isolated incident. But in being thorough, all other students in the school were moved to a more secure area where they were searched for safety concerns, and then they were released to their family or respected buses so that they could go to their residences. Bags, lockers, and other items were also searched in an effort to confirm that this was an isolated incident. Uh, as far as where we go from here, the, the body of the student will be sent to the Arkansas State Crime Lab. Uh, this is still an ongoing investigation. We've still got some other things we need to run down. Any further, any further questions can be directed to the Concord Police Department or to the Concord School. Uh, as far as the school is concerned, the school, Concord School, will be closed for the remainder of this week. Uh, they will be back in session on Monday, and they will have counselors available on site for students and the staff members of the school. Uh, we're not going to release any more details at this time regarding this incident. I'm going to turn this back over to Sheriff Brown. Thank you. Uh, certainly, anytime there's an incident like this that, that happens, a uh, question of bullying always comes up. And uh, in, in regards to that, you know, rumors fly and all, speculation always abounds in situations. And, and uh, so, so all, all things like that are being looked into and considered at this time, uh, but, but we don't have any, any details to confirm or, or deny anything like that. Um, so ag again, we appreciate you being here and we just ask that you'd keep our, our community, our school, uh, Concord School and their faculty and their students and, and certainly this young man's family uh, in all your prayers. Thank you.